this is what the internals of the planetary gear set looks like. There are three different gears that we have in play here. We have the ring gear, the carrier gear, and the sun gear. The sun gear is a 46 tooth, um, regular sized, not uh, high strength gear. And the outer uh, ring gears are 12 tooth regular gears. And then we spin the ring gears using six tooth uh, chain gears. And uh, how it actually works is that the planetary gears spin around and it pushes the internal gear out. And so as this spins, it can push in or with it to make a different ratio each time. Uh, so we use two motors to get one ratio of transmission and you can get um, up to four different modes, but only two of them have the power of two motors, uh, which means that it's vastly inefficient to use the singular modes. So why don't more people use this planetary gear set? Uh, there are a couple of reasons is that it's just massive. Um, the actual constraint uh, and building, especially you have to space out the chain a little bit, otherwise it'll skip, which you never want in a consistent drivetrain. Um, encoders are really hard to use on a planetary gear set. And um, it just straight sometimes doesn't work. And um, the speed mode always works, but torque mode because you're pushing two out two motors and you're never going to get that fully out because of uh, friction constraints. So you're never going to get the power, the raw power of two motors out uh, because of how much, just how much friction is involved in this gear set. 